But then we finished up with something we all liked a lot better. That's true. Which is what we used to call in uh, the BBC a one-man kit. That's which right. Which was basically, was it three or it four? It was four. Of, four of these redheads, we called them. They're yeah. 800 or 1,000 watts. 800. 800 watts. And the two, uh, two kilowatts. Two kilowatts. Mm. Quite controllable. Spot and flood That's fairly right. well. Um, with barn doors and so on. They, yeah. um, they, there's something they're slightly quite different. Light. Yeah. But uh, that wouldn't get passed in the BBC because if I can open it up, we used to, on many occasions, the bubble, as we call it, as you know. The bulbs, yeah. The bulb in there, look, used to explode. And on one occasion, um, in a very expensive house, it scattered all over the carpet and a new carpet had to be paid for. <laughs> And so what they, what they did, they put, like a Pyrex dish, it was a, a heat-proof yes. glass yeah. that used to go in there. So when these bulbs exploded, they never hit anybody because no. they could be quite close to uh, it the It could the be person. very dangerous. Yeah. I've seen it happen, yeah. So that, and also, these barn doors, as we called them, um, could easily fall out. They, they were never... You've all got a bond on, which is a good thing, but... Uh, you see that that catches none. That's yeah. all. Alan, just pick it up and tell me why did the bulbs explode? Explain to me why they exploded. Well, we never really knew. Uh, the fact was that um, they were they run in at such a high temperature, um, and that you know they're only glass, and um, if anybody had touched the surface of the glass before they when they put this in a new bulb in, if you touch it with your fingers. It would go. Does the grease on your fingers? It you would. It it takes the lining off the, the the front of the glass, and therefore they put a weakness into it. And if you switched it on, it would go everywhere. So what you would do? It was the old handkerchief when you put a new bulb in. Make sure you didn't put your fingers on it, and then it would usually be all right. Well, you can imagine now that when one of them went yeah. two kilowatt, it was quite lethal. But I mean, this became our sort of workhorse kit. It did indeed, yeah. For many years. I, yeah. I can't remember, that. I wouldn't remember to put dates on it really, but it was a long period of time. When yeah. we, these were the one man kit all the time. Yeah, now that's got a grill that's, on it. Yeah, that's the safety grill, yeah. yeah. But it's also uh, with these lamps, because they got so hot, to diffuse them or to lessen them, you couldn't put often. Um, even papers would burn eventually, or the gelatine would burn. So they brought these wire meshes out, which did take the light down. They could diffuse uh, a little diffuser, bit, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, didn't burn. Well, I used to put uh, tracing paper across the front of these to That's soften right. the light. Yes. But it, w uh, it, it had been burning for a few hours, you'd start seeing it going brown in brown the middle. Brown in the middle, yeah. yeah. In fact, the first thing you'd notice, the colour was looking a bit odd, and you think, why is that? <laughs> and then you look at this and you'd see that yeah. the tracing paper has yeah. gone a bit brown.